Uh, speaking of new stuff, Last of Us Part 2. Man, you have just been... You will not stop talking about this particular thing. You went on a whole rant, a whole rant and possibly even a rave prior to us filming today or hitting the record button. I see a big spoiler logo. Oh I found this video. <laughs> well, first of all, it was on trending this morning. I personally have no idea what's going on with this game. I know you were such a fan of the first one. Mm -hmm. And you told me, Lou, if you're going to play a game, play this game. Because I don't play that many games, as many as I'd like. But a story mode and in-depth and, 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 and Naughty Dog, because I liked the Uncharted back yes. in the day. And so you had my attention. And I was at least paying enough attention to notice the launch of this part two which I saw on trending this morning for some weird reasons, a bunch of un, uh, reasons I didn't expect for people to be talking about it. Uh, and that led me to this particular graphics comparison because I noticed that the graphics on this thing for seven-year-old hardware, I was thinking to myself, man, that's, that's an achievement. Mm -hmm. And the IGN posted this graphics comparison 2017 when we first saw or got a preview of the up i mean they've been working on they work on these games for years will mm -hmm. tremendous amount of effort and energy so they first showed off 2017 paris games week and now here we are in 2020 we have the actual game and you can do this comparison and you see what happens in the lighting the textures the sweat the liquid the rain Everything has been improved. I mean, very intense, very, very intense, violent. very intense game. You might want to pause that. Yeah, very, very intense game, I will say. But if you are one of these, uh, if you're an individual, you like to analyze the graphics, you like to see the pro the progression of the medium. Essentially, uh, this is a real, uh, at least from a technical perspective, technological perspective, it's an achievement. To, to, to be able to pull that much out of that old hardware in that period of time that you were working, it's, it's really uh, a, a testament to, to attention to detail, mm -hmm. to, uh, t to the t incredible, tedious, I mean, just, that's where I'm at. Yes. Yeah, I know you're elsewhere on this topic, but that's where I'm at. I just appreciate the energy. People are mad at the story. People are mad at the company. Mm -hmm. uh, people are mad at elements within the game. People are mad about sequels often anyways mm -hmm. because they, they have to uphold this high standard and you got your super, you got your mega fans who have expectations. Mm -hmm. And the first one was obviously a hit, I suppose, in 2013. Oh, yeah. And they've been, the people have been bombing the, the Metacritic. I know nothing, Will. And so, therefore, since you, you, you love this topic so much, I know you want to say something. Just be careful because it's intense out here. No, I mean, uh, the first one was a really great game. You said it yourself. It's like uh, uncharted kind of territory where it is like a story. Um, great story. Really dark um, this one I heard is even darker. It came out today, actually. And uh, a lot of great reviews, I would say. At least four. From the critics. From the critics, yeah. The user reviews, the terrible. Audience, uh, it's just... Isn't that weird that you can have that level of discrepancy? It's weird, yeah. Like, what? what is the significance of a site like Metacritic when there's such a discrepancy? How do you process that as a... Do you care more? I don't you I, like I said I don't get to game as much as I'd like. Do you care more about the critic rating or the user rating? That's a good question. I have no idea. I uh I'd like to have both and then consider it. Usually it's around the same. If it's around Maybe the same the audience is a little bit lower. I guess I'm talking in this example cuz usually yeah, you would expect it would be close. But this one is so far off. The user score is a 3.4 and the meta score is a 95. Yeah, I think there was a lot of history going into this uh, launch of the game that the audience maybe had like a bad taste in their mouth. But overall, I think uh, it turned out to be a good game. I have to, you know, 
You haven't played it well. I know, but like just knowing the production, I've been following it for years. Um, seeing it where it's been, like it's it's gonna be an amazing game. So in terms of say. user score, there were nine thousand eight hundred and forty one ratings, putting it at a three point four. The meta score of ninety five had ninety four separate critic reviews. So it is a massive range there in how the users feel. Now, granted, I suppose, like, if I do a score as a user, I can go anywhere from zero to 10. And if you get enough zeros, really angry people, that can drive the score down substantially. But it, I'm genu uh, genuinely curious, and I should ask the audience of gamers that are watching, do you tend to put more merit into the user score or are you more inclined to look at the critic review in determining whether or not uh, a game is worth your time or worthwhile? And then also when it comes to this game, are you going to give it a shot? Metacritic, it's a Metacritic must play. And yet people are super mad. Look, there's a lot of reasons that people are mad. But it does get kind of squirrely and weird when you're reviewing a game. How much do you, if you're reviewing the game, in other words, start to finish my experience with the game, you're not reviewing the company. You're not reviewing uh, some of their practices. You're not reviewing the whether or not Sony censored it or didn't censor it. You're not reviewing any of those external yeah. things. Yeah. Should those external factors come into consideration when you're reviewing the game? Hmm. That's hard. It is hard, yeah. It's like when you're trying to review, let's say you review a, a, a music artist. Are you reviewing who they are in real life? Are you reviewing their political uh, positions? Are you reviewing their past behaviors? Are you reviewing their criminal past? I'm... Because there's always a backstory. Yeah, there's always more to it. Or are you reviewing the art, the piece of art, independent of that? Or maybe it's always both. But it's an interesting uh, thing to think about. I, looking at this here, it would strike me as the critics. Again, they're connected to the industry. They're, they're all tied up and tied in, so it's hard. But I would assume if you're a good critic... You're going to spend most of your time strictly in the game world and, and maybe taking into less consideration those external factors. But you're reading through here. Look how many zeros you're getting from, from the uh, users. Zero, 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 zero. It's insane. It's intense. Of course, I don't know who's right or right. I don't have a, I don't have a horse in the race. I'm telling you. But maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get the game a shot. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to have the time, but if I did, if I had some gaming time right now, this would be close to the mm. thing I would try out. Like personal game, just alone gaming mm. time. I don't know. Whoever has that, I'm jealous of, by the way. Mm. People are looking at me right now. They're like, Lou, you can do whatever you want. Can I? I don't know. I don't know. Who can? I don't know. Anyway.